In this video, we'll see how to insert a video file into a PowerPoint and we'll be playing with that video file. We'll be editing, we'll be adding a bookmarks. I'll import a video from a YouTube and also I'll add some uh, video options to that. Let us see that one by one. So this is the part two series of video and I'll just press escape. I'll go to the second blank slide. Now what I'll do is I'll try to import a video from YouTube. How do I get it? I'll just go to insert tab. Uh, on the right hand side, if you see there's a video and there are two options. One is the online video and second one it says video on my PC. So I'll say I want first one as online video. It gives me a dialog box. It gives me option as as you want to download or link with the YouTube or do you want to embed with some other place. So I'll say I want to go for here. So this is the YouTube search from here itself. You can search the YouTube videos. What I'll do is I'll get some tutorials point video. So I'll just type here as tutorials point private limited and press enter. So I'll just type here tutorials point private limited and press enter. And uh, these are all the videos which tutorials point we have developed. And uh, what I'll do is I'll try to search any one video from here. Let's say this introduction video and I'll click on insert. So once I click on insert, this is the video which is connected to the YouTube, which is downloaded here itself. Now, so you see on the tab, this is the video tools, that is the format and playback. What I'll do is I'll just try to play this option. So I'll just click on this play. And uh, now if you observe here, that is a video for a YouTube symbol, which is given here. I'll just click on this play sign. Yeah, so this way it works in when you download from the YouTube itself. And now what you can do is you can format this video with the help of this format tab. If you want to change the size or if you want to change the shape of this, you can keep on changing and start playing with that. But now in this video, what we'll see some more advanced features with related to this videos. So now I'll just delete this I'll select this and uh, press delete from here. Now what I'll do is I'll insert a video from my PC itself. Same option. I'll go to this insert and then I can go to this video. I'll select the second option video on my PC. Click on that. I have a sample video kept here. The sample video is this one sample video two, and I'll click on insert. So the entire video will be inserted. Now the size of my file is video file size plus the PowerPoint file size. Now I'll just expand this and I'll click on play. Right. So this entire video is inserted. Now what I want is I do not want the entire video. I want to trim or I want to make some changes here. So what I'll do is I'll go to this playback tab and see there are so many options available here. The very first option what I'll do is it's a very lengthy video. So I want to cut short that video into a small one. So I have a facility given here as trim video. So I can just click on this trim video. So same sample video too. And it says how much do you want to trim? Tell me the start point and the end point. So what you can do is this, the green one is the start point and the red one is the end point. So I can just drag this start point here. Let's say I want till this place 51 seconds and this end point I want till let's say 127 seconds, one, let's say 136 seconds and I'll just click on OK. So this is the start time and that is the end time. So this is the cut short video. That is the trim video, which is given here and I'll just click on OK. So this is the trimmed video now. Once I click on play, you can see that. Very short video now. All right. So this is the video which you can see. Now I have trimmed the video. Now I'll try to play with it. So what I'll do is I want this when I press full screen mode in the slideshow mode. What do I want? Do I want to start it automatically or should I manually click on it? So if I say automatically, when this slide comes automatically, the video will play, right? The second thing is, do you want to play this video in a full screen? So I'll say yes. Yes. I want to play this video in the full screen. Earlier it used to be in the very small screen. Now it will become in the full screen itself. Next it says, 
do you want to play until it is stopped that means it will keep on going in the loop itself so i'll just click on say yes continue to loop and also rewind after playing it will come back to the original place so these are some additional features given here play with full screen or you can say as loop until stop and also if you see there's a volume which you can say low medium high mute i'll say as i want low volume or i want as medium vo volume so you can select the volume from here that's it so now when i click on presentation mode that is slide show mode i'll say as from beginning so that's the first slide now when i go to second slide automatically it will start that's the first thing second thing is it will become in a very big screen third thing is it is in the medium volume so i'll go to second full screen once it is finished it will come back so i'll just play this i'll just play this one yeah so once it done it will come back again replay so it is loop until played so i'll just press escape to stop this video now and uh, escape so this is escape now so i'll just go to the playback so these are some features which are available there's one more feature that is adding a bookmark what exactly is a bookmark bookmark is a notation which you give at particular point so let's say if you keep on playing here at some point you want to just remember something so what you can do is at this point i want to cut so you can just click on this add bookmark so when you click add bookmark you see there's a yellow dot added here so it will remind you like in the browsers you have so it will remind you at this point you have to do something same way you can click on this add and you can say add bookmark so if you do not want a bookmark you can just click on this remove bookmark so this is only for your reference for notation purpose and the last one if you see on the left hand side that is a play button in short you can say it's a preview button like in the transitions we had transition for the slides so i hope you are able to understand all the things related with videos and uh, that's all for this video